Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Goddard, owner of the Osteopathic Center with a location in Knoxville, Tennessee and Miami, Florida. I'm here to talk about pain and sports injuries. They're so difficult to treat with so many different options out there. You have chiropractors, you have osteopathic manipulation therapists, you have uh, massage therapy, physical therapy, you have dry needling, you have medication therapy, you have uh, all these invasive uh, needle procedures, you have surgery. Why are there so many different options for two topics that seem like they should be a little more easy to help treat? And that's because they're very complicated. The body's very complicated. And we have to use our knowledge to the best of our ability that we've been trained in, in order to help people. And at the same token, <clears throat> we find that there are these many fields because we find all of them can work in the right setting. The key is to combine these fields together. And that's what I've done. I've trained in medicine. I've trained in osteopathic manipulative therapy for many, many years. And then I've trained in acupuncture at the UCLA School for Doctors. And I've trained in prolotherapy, platelet-rich plasma injections, bone marrow uh, stem cell injections, adipose stem cell injections, amniotic tissue allograft injections, umbilical cord stem cell injections. I've done all of these with varying degrees of success based on each physician and each patient's uh, presentation of their pain. The most valuable thing I've found for my patients is being able to incorporate the functional movement and dynamic motion testing with their pain. Because a lot of times we do scans and whether it be MRI, X-ray, patients don't move. They, they sit there very uh, still and they, we get a scan and we don't test them while they're moving. And that's where diagnostic MSK ultrasound can come into play where we can do movement testing and look at certain parts of the body while we're moving. But it also takes a degree of skill with the hands. I have to touch tissue and feel, is it inflamed? Is it atrophied? And by doing this, I can pinpoint a lot of my uh, diagnostic as well as my injection procedures to what I feel in the body. By measuring instability, measuring weakness, along with the imaging techniques of X-ray, MRI, and MSK ultrasound, I can get come to a very, very definitive way to treat a very specific point and, or points in a person's body. For example, arthritis often is used uh, for injections to inject the joint only. But we always have to ask why. Why did the arthritis develop? And coming from an osteopathic manipulative approach, it's because the ligaments, which are geared to hold the bones together, get loose and allow friction to happen. That friction allows wearing away of the cartilage. And then when I go for injections with stem cell, I can inject the joint, also inject these ligaments to tighten the joint and improve the stability. So I think of my injections as three things. One is treat the pain, two, treat the injury, three, treat the instability, which created the injury or vice versa, which ultimately created the pain. When I can treat all three of these things, I get the absolute best results possible. Now, not all uh, injuries and tears are as a result of these three things. And that's when we get into genetics and toxicities. And there's another whole field. But I would say 80% of the time, I do find feeling the tissue, using diagnostic tests, and then injecting very precisely, I will see improvements. And then depending on severity, I'll see those improvements happen after one treatment or multiple treatments. Please visit, visit, please visit us on our website or come in for a consultation today so we can discuss how these treatment options could be a benefit to you.